Hey you guys, I just want to put out a little bit of a message before the video starts. We are going to be doing quick Honar Slayer week, so I just want to tell you guys right now we're going to do one episode per day, Monday through Friday this week. You know, why am I doing this? Mostly because I want to challenge myself. I want to put out, you know, five videos in a week rather than two, which is crazy for me. <laughs> I just want to try something. And my Konar Slayer videos tend to do better in the amount of views. I mean, it's kind of hit and miss, but compared to my other guides, the Konar Slayer videos definitely have a better chance of getting more views, it feels like, for some reason. That's all. I just want to give you guys a warning for this coming week. But next week, we're going to be back to the normal video schedule and doing other stuff besides Konar Slayer. So, I hope you enjoy the episode. Alright, what is going on guys? We are back with episode 3 for Quick Konar Week now. On this episode, we have Adamant Dragons in the Lithkrin Vault, which is actually something I've never done before, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research and get back to you guys. All right, so since I'm a little bit on the higher end of the combat level, we're gonna be bringing max strength gear for this task. We'll say if you're a lower combat level or your stats aren't as high, then definitely bring some defensive items in your chest and legs like Torags or something like that. I wanna point out I'm using a Hosta as my weapon. A Dragon Hunter Lance would be much better, I just don't have one. And also, I'm using a Dragon Defender instead of a Dragon Fire Shield, since I'm going to be using the Super Extended Anti-Fires rather than the normal Anti-Fires, so we're able to get the full coverage from Dragon Fire effects. I will throw down some other gear options, but I'm not super familiar with this task, so I'm not entirely sure if range can be used here effectively or not. The Animate Dragon defenses are pretty high, so it's just something to think about if you want to try something else. Okay, so let's move on to our inventory. We'll have a Ceridom and God Sword as our spec weapon. As always, a Dragon Dagger is just fine if you don't have one. We're gonna bring a few potions with us, an Antidote++, plus plus, Super Defense, Strength, Attack, and our extended Super Anti-Fire. Since we only have to kill three Animate Dragons on our task, I'm only bringing one dose potions. If your task was extended, I would definitely recommend bringing more than one dose potions. We are gonna have a handful of sharks to help us heal us through this, and a prayer potion to keep our prayer up. A dig site pendant will help us get there, and we have our teleport out with the house teleport. Okay, let me take a minute now and explain actually how to get to the Lithkrin dungeon. So like I said, we'll use a dig site pendant to get there. Now when you rub the pendant, you'll have one to three options depending on how much you have unlocked on it. If you have nothing unlocked, you'll have to take the dig site teleport, use the boat right here which will take you all the way up to Fossil Island. Then from Fossil Island, you'll land on the beach, then you'll have to run up this way to the arrow. If you have the Fossil Island Teleport unlocked, and the Magic Mush Trees, you'll be teleported here. You use the Magic Mush Tree, and that'll take you to this one, right over to the arrow again. And obviously, if you have the Lithkrin Teleport unlocked already, that'll take you right there, and it's gonna be your fastest option. But if not, once you make it to the transportation here, that will float you over to this island. Once you're on this island, you'll find yourself right here. You wanna run up over to this building, and there'll be a staircase to go inside here. Once you're inside, you go down south to go through a trap door. And once you're in the trap door, you go north again to go down a set of stairs. Now when you go through that set of stairs, you'll be in a long hallway, you'll go through the hallway, and then eventually you'll find yourself in the vault. Once you're actually in the vault, the Adam and Dragons are going to be on the left-hand side. Also, if you wanted to unlock the Lithkrin Teleport on your dig site pendant, there'll be a workbench in the top left of the map where you can imbue it, so you'll always have that teleport unlocked. Now that we're down in the vault, I can talk about what the Adamant Dragons actually attack with and some specials you'll have to look out for. As with all the more powerful metal dragons, they'll attack with melee, ranged, magic, and dragon fire. So what we're gonna do is have our quick prayers set up to protect from magic, preserve, and chivalry. So like I said, there's gonna be two different special attacks we have to look out for. The first one we can actually react to. The adamant dragon will shoot out like a, a green blob of spit. And once it connects on the ground where you're standing, it'll deal damage in a 5x5 five five area. So as long as you run away three squares, you'll be okay. If it does hit you, it's going to be very reduced because of our Antidote++, plus plus, but it's still going to deal 4 to 8 poison damage. Its second special move is a ranged attack that's going to hit through Protect from Missiles if we have it on. It's basically just kind of like Enchanted Ruby Bolts, so the dragon sacrifices some of its current HP and it'll deal 20% of your current health to you. So because of this, you don't always want to be at full health. Being somewhere in like the 40 to 50 range is generally okay, but you don't want to drop below 30 because their max hit goes up to 29. Okay, I think we are actually ready to start here so we can use all of our potions and then just walk in and get railed. We're not going to have much of a montage on this one, so we're just going to kind of fast forward through it right now. Ah, 
Okay, <laughs> that was quick, just as we expected. Okay, so here we are, about to check the profit. Took a little bit less than 250, I forgot to stop the timer actually. Surprisingly, we made over 100k thanks to that 35 adamant bar drop. But that brings us to the end of the video. So if you have any questions about Slayer, or RuneScape in general, feel free to ask me. We're chugging along, we're doing nicely, I'm pretty happy with myself for being able to get videos out this week. We're 3 for 3 so far for Quick Count our week, I'm pretty pumped. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one.